What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about five long shot games that I think could be shown at Summer Game Fest. Look, we've gone over some games that you want to see. We've gone over games that I thought were actually pretty likely. Now, Jeff has just put the hammer down and eliminated a couple of them. So, look, I want to play by his rules, right? I'm trying to pick games that are still, you know, within a range that he has talked about. Uh, he said that there's not going to be games, you know, that's 2026, 2027. And trust me, I actually like it. It makes it harder, though, to, to predict these kind of far-out predictions. But I think I got some good ones for you, okay? So no Wolf Among Us. That can't be included. And no Kingdom Hearts 4. So we can put those to bed. But I got five more for you. Starting with number one, and actually a, a couple people I've seen on YouTube comments, I've seen it on Twitter, a couple people have been bringing this back up. Life is Strange, a new Life is Strange game. I think this one actually has a shot. If I were to predict any of these five that are, I would say, kind of far out, but if any of them actually have a shot to happen, Life is Strange 4, Life is Strange whatever, you know, when we heard about it from IGN, right, IGN did that whole expose into uh, Deck 9 and a lot of trouble, like that studio seemingly had a lot of stuff going on, maybe they still have stuff going on, they gave us some information on Telltale in that article, but the center of that article is they are making a Life is Strange game, and, you know, when IGN does these big, like, essay type, you know, actually investigative journalism things, they're right, they don't just do it just to be wrong they don't do it all that often so i absolutely believe that we are getting a life is strange game from deck nine um i would hope it's with max we've talked about that a thousand times in other videos i've done the thing that makes this unlikely is well number one it's not official and it's not officially uh revealed right so like this would be for the first time an actual announcement and i just don't know how many of those jeff Keeley would do and then you also have the uh, bloom and rage game lost records right from uh don't nod and they're similar in fact like that was from the team that did Life is Strange 1 and 2 so very similar that game comes out in the fall if that game appears at Summer Game Fest, and I'm not saying that it will, but if it does, I feel like having a game that's just so like atmospherically similar, I don't know if you would do both, right? So it makes me think that Life is Strange probably isn't going to happen here. It might not even happen at a show. Um, I think when Life is Strange True Colors was announced, they teased it earlier in the week, and they did literally like a Life is Strange show, like a YouTube thing, a live stream or whatever, and they showed off the game. So this would be a little bit different, but I, I think think before the storm has been at gamescom before or other events like it's not impossible or maybe it was the xbox show actually i definitely remember before the storm was somewhere so not impossible definitely a long shot okay how about judas this one also feels like somewhat possible but also i don't know like you know no wolf among us no kingdom hearts jeff is keeping expectations low look if you give me judas i think i'd be very very you know pleasantly surprised right because this is a game we don't really know when it's coming out. Like, different things, um, even from, like, the financial back end of Take Two, makes you believe it's sometime next year. Like, I would be shocked if this game came out in the fall. I don't think the game comes out in the fall. I think it comes out maybe first half of next year if you're lucky, maybe second half, you know, if you're not so lucky, around the same time as GTA most likely, right? Um, but regardless... Could this appear? It absolutely could. Jeff and Ken Levine have that relationship. You know, they just did the thing with IGN, you know, Ryan McCaffrey, uh, Jeff Keighley, and Ken Levine a few uh, months ago, maybe like a, a month and a half, two months ago. So is it possible? Yeah, I actually think it is possible. But at the same time, it's a bigger scale game. You can only have so many bigger. That's another thing, right? You think about even the big scale games you think are likely to appear at Summer Game Fest. Okay, well, there, there isn't like a thousand of them that, that he actually has show up. So you have to limit them. Judas is absolutely a big one. I just, uh, I'm not very confident on it. Okay, what about Wonder Woman? Now, look, we just talked about Wonder Woman yesterday. But, uh, you know, just because Greg Miller throws out a little rumor our way doesn't mean it can't happen, right? And we, we talked, uh, we kind of walked ourselves through exactly what Greg said and kind of rationalizing well a lot of games can be in troubled states until they're not right right up until the end a game might be shown off a trailer gameplay and it still might be in a troubled state behind the scenes so I don't want to take it as like gospel I don't really um, I don't want to drag the game down entirely because of one rumor that we heard yesterday and you know what although you hear no wolf among us no kingdom hearts one of the pillars you know of games that I really want to see honestly those were too, and, and that really hurts not being there. Uh, Dragon Age Dreadwolf, that seems like a 50-50 to appear there, but this is another one. Wonder Woman, come on. I mean, we, we've rationalized it, right? Like, WB is going... 
it would absolutely be a WB thing to do to show the, the Batman Arkham VR game and then call it quits, right? Like that is classic recent WB. And, uh, and I really think you, you have to go in expecting that to be the norm, expecting them to show the VR and saying, oh, that's why we came. We told you we were coming for this, and that's all we came for. Of course, I want Quidditch champions. That's another WB. I was considering, I mean, if you want to do like a 1A, 1B here, Wonder Woman, Quidditch champions. I think Quidditch champions actually does make a lot of sense to show up and may maybe makes more sense than Wonder Woman. But both of them, I think, have that looming presence of, it's almost 50-50. Either they're there for the, the VR thing and that's it, or they surprise. And I do think it'd be a surprise. I feel like it would catch people off guard to see Wonder Woman here, and it would be enormous. But it's another thing where it's like, well, Jeff has talked about the stakes, and it's an 8 out of 10 show. Well, if you show Wonder Woman, don't you think that would kind of be big? If you show Life is Strange, do you like Life is Strange has a big name to it. Judas, you know, Ken Levine, that's a big time thing, right? Uh, maybe not all of these games, but some of them. That's another big thing, I think, going against all five, maybe in different ways, where you know, Jeff himself seemingly is downplaying his own show. So, like, these games would be pretty nuts. If we saw Wonder Woman, I'd call the show a success. I don't care what else they show here. I think if you show Wonder Woman, i call it good. I, I don't know, what, you know how else to say it. So um, that also makes me, uh, again, a little less confident. Number four, the ultimate game that you can always hope is going to be at events and then never is, Hollow Knight Silk Song. Um, this one... Okay, because of Xbox being right after it, right? You have Summer Game Fest the Friday, and then you have Xbox the Sunday. Come on. I mean, there's been some stuff behind the scenes. And, and I feel like, well, look, with every passing year, with every passing one of these big events, you get closer to eventually when Team Cherry is going to uh, reveal this thing or re-reveal and then actually release it. I think release is probably the better word, right? So... Can it show up at Summer Game Fest? Yes. Will it? I feel like this one is like a long shot prediction because this is it's it's one of those things that you just always assume no until it happens. I, I don't even know if there's a better game that like amplifies or signifies that point other than Hollow Knight. It's just been a game that's been around for maybe even uh, beyond Good and Evil 2, but I think that's a little bit different than Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight's very real. Hollow Knight, we have a lot of faith will be very good. And we, you know, we've seen it here and there. We've heard some things here and there. But ultimately, again, I really think the expectation from the majority of people is always: Is Hollow Knight going to show up? No. Is over and over? It's no until it actually happens. But I don't think you ever truly feel confident saying yes because it's just always no. So I feel like th that's like the ultimate game uh, where that take maybe like Little Devil Inside would be another one. But I think Hollow Knight maybe even has that one beat. And number five, got to follow the trend, got to follow my heart. I'm going to say Sly Cooper. Well, you know, of the four we did before Sly, right, three of them are already announced, and then one of them, in terms of Life is Strange, you, you feel pretty good about. You don't know it 100%, but you feel pretty good. Sly is, okay, I'm, I'm taking a big shot here. Um, do I think it's going to happen? No, hence why it's on this list. <laughs> I mean, all of these games you probably shouldn't expect until it actually appears. But, I mean, let's just ride the wave. It's had merch, it's had digital pins, it's had... Had, you know, a Sly 1 coming to PS, all this jazz, right? Like, something is going on. Uh, do I think it's like a Sly 5 or even a Sly Remaster remake? Uh, probably not. PlayStation is going to Summer Game Fest. Now, look, the reality of things is I feel like they're there probably for LEGO Horizon. They could be there for a couple other smaller things. Um, I don't think they're there. Now, look, a new Sly game, to me, would be the biggest announcement of the entire year, maybe even the last 10 years. I mean, I'm actually willing to exaggerate that far. I really believe that. Yet again, to the grand scheme of things, I don't know how big a Sly thing would be. So, I mean, I will say this to be fair. Of all of the games, uh, of ones that Jeff, you know, again, toning things down, all that stuff, you might think, oh, well, Alex, that would be such a big deal for PlayStation to announce it. Is it? If you announce a Sly versus a Lego Horizon, like, which one is bigger? I think Lego Horizon is bigger. I mean, we love Sly. I love Sly. I can only speak for myself. I know who, I know the people online that like Sly, right? But, like, a Lego Horizon game, that's going to, oh, my God, that'll sell ten times the amount that Sly Cooper will sell. It's a big IP for them in, in Horizon. They would go the Lego route. So that's just something to kind of keep in mind. Like, maybe that actually helps my case. You know, if you're looking for Sony to do something really big and then maybe a couple small ones or one small one, you know, Sly isn't as big as, like, I, I don't even think I make Sly out to be all that big, but Sly isn't that big. So I don't know. Like, is it going to happen? Um, of all of these, 
Sly is the least likely. I would put Sly less likely to get announced than Wonder Woman to show up. I'd actually go that far. At the same time, you know, the point of the video, have a little bit of fun with this one, take some of these shots, and uh, we got to put Sly Cooper in a list like this, right? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure, as always, you're subscribed to the channel. Bell icon turned on. I hope to see you all on the next one.